Hey, so I'm outside of a food land in Peterborough, uh, about to pick up groceries. Uh, this is going to be a quick clip because I'm not going to take this camera inside because I think it's kind of rude and I think I might get in trouble actually. But that's it for this. I'll see you in a couple seconds to let you know what I got uh, at the store. Okay, hey, I'm back. I've just finished my first day at work and I have groceries and I have a list of groceries here that I got. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through what I got and over on this side, hopefully, you're going to see a tally of what I got and how much it actually cost me. So to start with, I usually start my grocery shopping with veggies because they stick in your cart and they don't need to stay cold. Um, I pick up meat last because I want to stay as cold as possible. First thing I got, baby spinach. Why? Because I can eat this stuff out of hand. Um, it goes really great in things like frittatas and omelets. Yeah, this is just a good staple to have around. So baby spinach. Next, I got carrots. So I got a bunch of carrots. I probably should have got more than this, but I'm here for a week and I don't want any leftovers. So this is really good. So spinach, carrots. I got three small onions. Uh, just because carrots and onions, they go super, super well together. And then after that, I got, no, this is kind of embarrassing, but I got pre-cut celery. I'm not proud of that, but it's just that a whole, like, bunch of celery, I can't eat all of that in a week, so I have to get the pre-cut stuff, just so I wouldn't waste anything. At the very least, it was kind of cheap, so. So after that, I got one bell pepper. Also, again, I can eat this out of hand. Um, it goes really great in things like frittatas. It goes really well in other meals that I'm going to make. By the way, you'll notice that I'm not actually organizing it based on um, the meals I'm making. I'm just picking up food that I know I'm going to eat eventually. So next, I got a sweet potato. Um, I plan on just eating this. I'm going to microwave and just eat it at some point in time this week. And last but not least, this is a little bit more fruit. So I got tomatoes. Just got a bunch of tomatoes. Uh, I can't really eat it out of hand. I'm not one of those people. But uh, it goes really great in salads. Um, and every once in a while, I'll just slice up a, a tomato and have it as a side. So that does it for veggies. Usually after that, I go and I pick up some meat. So, the very first thing I bought, the very first thing I always buy on my grocery runs is bacon. This is not like farmer's fresh bacon. I have to buy the packaged stuff because well, I don't really have a choice here. But bacon's really awesome because I don't have any cooking oil. So this is gonna help me kind of get my veggies started. Um, if I'm making any sauces, you know, this is really great for that. Same as salad dressings. So this is just a good staple to have. After that, I went for sausages. Sausages are great, not just a breakfast time meal, but you know, sausages are really great. If I don't feel like eating, so you probably just noticed that my video clipped right there. So I'm actually on call right now, 24-7 uh, support, meaning if I get a phone call while, in, while recording one of these videos, my video just stops because it's coming off my phone. So if ever I clip again like that, you know that someone's calling me and really making me unhappy. But anyways, uh, I was talking about sausages. So what I was saying was that sausages are really great. Sometimes what I do is actually I just cut open the casing and just take all the meat out of it and just kind of fry that up in a pan. That's actually really good. After that, I picked up some uh, chicken breasts. So you know me, I am a big provider of buying the whole chicken so I can get the bones out of it and make some sauce or sorry, soups and things out of that. But again, this week I can't have leftovers. So I bought two chicken breasts bone in. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but if it comes down to it, I can always cut them up and fry up the pieces. And last but not least, really good staple, just some ground beef. I'm probably gonna eat this tonight or tomorrow just cause it doesn't keep very well in the fridge. I haven't decided yet if it's gonna be burgers or if I'm just gonna fry it up ground as ground deliciousness and put eggs on top of it. Speaking of which, no trip would be complete without, oh, come on, without a dozen eggs. So a full dozen eggs, yes, this is a week supply of eggs for me, uh, five days worth of eggs for me. These are not just for breakfast for me, these are actually for dinners and lunches because every once in a while, I will take two eggs for lunch and then microwave it and feel really bad because it tastes awful when you microwave eggs, but you know, it fills you up, so it's good. Um, so that's it for meat and veggies. So that brings me to luxury items. So every once in a while when I go grocery shopping, I just say, you know what, I'm in the mood for something. So this week, I was in the mood for uh, two bottles of Perrier. I'm not a big person on bottled water. I find tap water to be just fine, but this is bubbly water. It has lemon and grapefruit flavoring in it. So that's really great. That's gonna be nice after dinner. And I also bought some pitted prunes. Not because I'm really all that big of a fan of prunes, but I think they taste fine. 
Um, and I happen to like them to munch on sometimes late at night, sometimes during the day. So that's it for me. That's actually all my groceries. Uh, if you check the total on the side, I'm actually sitting at just under 50 bucks. So 50 bucks for five days, it's really not that bad, especially considering, um, you know, I did get a lot of meat this time around. So that's for me. In my next video, you're gonna watch me actually make something to eat because I'm actually really, really hungry right now. Um, so thanks.